Birds of Prey is the latest DCEU film, and it is the first to be rated R. And I don't think it actually deserves the R rating. I think it's just the language, which it does have a lot of strong language in the movie. It's not a graphic film. Like, there is more blood than you'd expect in a superhero movie, but it's not that graphic. And there's no sexuality in the film, or just a bit. Not much. Um, but I really enjoyed Birds of Prey. It's a pretty fun film. I really liked the themes of the movie. It's about how girls can be strong without a man at their side at all times. And I thought that really added a lot to the film, because Harley Quinn and all the action and Ewan McGregor's character, they're just the icing over the cake. And the cake is the positive messages and the teamwork and friendship of all the characters. Um, another good thing about the movie is Ewan McGregor as Black Mask. I, he was kind of over the top, but I think it added to the character. I really enjoyed that. I, I'd want to see more of his character, but you don't see too much about him, of him. Um, and Harley Quinn is easily the best part of the movie. Margot Robbie plays a great version of her, and she did in Suicide Squad, and I think she does excellent in this film, and it's easily the best part. But on to the bad things. The bad things are that the characters, besides Harley Quinn, are not very interesting. Like, it focuses too much on Harley Quinn that all the other characters are so bland. And that's one thing about Black Mask is that he's a really cool villain and he's over the top and he's a terrible man. But that's kind of all you just know about him. He's just a terrible person who wants to cut off your face. And I wanted more to I wanted to know more about him because then he I'd like him even more. And all the other characters I'd want to know more about them because they are cool characters, but I don't know enough about them to care for them. And also the story is kind of it's not that compelling. It's not a very compelling story. But and it also has problems with it jumps back and forth between time periods and it's hard to follow, but I feel like they're trying to get you, like, you can try to make you feel like how Harley Quinn always thinks, but it's hard to understand the plot and how it continues. But overall, I really liked this movie, and I'm going to give Birds of Prey an 8.5. Jimmy, to be honest, I don't think they should have gone with the R rating. It's, then young girls could see it. It's like you get this nice PG-13 franchise and the families are going to see it because it's really fun and light. And this movie is light. But then the next one comes out and parents are going to the theater and they're like, get out of here, kids. It's the art ring. I'm like, look, it's an art ring. That means restrict it. Get out of here. You know, I uh, went to see this movie with uh, Jacob. And as I was saying to Jacob at the beginning of the theater, at the, before the movie started, that in that theater, seven years ago, I went to see the very first DCEU film with uh, my dad, Man of Steel. That was seven years ago. Well, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.